Dear students, I welcome you all to learn the third lesson in geography, Indian climate. In this lesson, you are going to know about the different seasons of India and also the distribution of rainfall. Very simple and easy lesson it is. Every one of you can easily understand and score good marks in this lesson. So, welcome to the third lesson in geography, Indian climate. Dear students, before I take you to the lesson, let me conduct a small activity. What is that activity? Here on the map of India, I have located a particular place. Name the place located on the map. See, this is the place which I have located. Yes, most of you have answered correctly. You are guess is correct. The name of the place is Mausin Ram in Meghalaya. Why this Mausin Ram is famous for? That I tell you in this lesson. So, the located place on this map of India is Mausin Ram in Meghalaya. One more place for you. See again, on this map of India, one more place is located. This is the place which I have located. Can you name this place? Name the place located on the map. Yes, most of you have answered correctly. The answer is Royli in Rajasthan. This is Royli. Why this Royli is known for? That also I explain you in this lesson. It is very much interested now. Now, one more question for you. Can you differentiate weather and climate? Most of the people, they use weather and climate in the similar manner, but that is wrong. Weather is different, climate is different. What is weather and what is climate? Can you differentiate these two? Just think of what is weather, what is climate? Dear students, weather is totally different from climate. Weather refers to short term changes in temperature, rainfall and humidity. It changes from place to place. For example, Bengaluru. In Bengaluru, the weather condition of one area may differ from the nearby area in the same place Bengaluru. In Bengaluru, the weather condition of one place may differ with the neighboring place. But climate is not like that. Climate is an average weather condition of a vast area considered once in 35 to 40 years. The average weather condition of large area of about 35 to 40 years will be calculated and they will name which type of climate it is. There the factors like winds and even the position, relief features, water body, everything will be considered that is climate. Now I explain what is weather. Weather refers to state of atmosphere at a particular place during a short period of time. For example, early morning you will have cool temperature and when you go to school and stand in the prayer hall, you will have warm temperature. By mid afternoon 12, 30, 1 o'clock, you have hot or high temperature. The same school by evening, it becomes cool. When you play cricket or football, you will have warm or cool weather. In the same school, by evening or after 8.30 or 9 o'clock, again it becomes cold. That means, in one day, just in your school atmosphere, there will be, there will be cold temperature in the early morning, warm temperature during the prayer time and by afternoon it will be high temperature and evening again it is warm and by night again it is cold. That means, in one day, the temperature is varying. Again, it changes with respect to rainfall and humidity that is called weather. So, weather refers to state of atmosphere at a particular place during a short period of time. What is climate? Climate is an average weather condition of a vast area considered once in 35 to 40 years. Now, dear students, I take you to the lesson number 3 in geography, Indian climate. Dear students, in this lesson, Indian climate, we are going to learn about 
climatic type of India and the factors which affect the climate of India, climatic seasons and their characteristic features and also distribution of rainfall, all these factors are going to be discussed in this lesson. So, you are all ready now, so take a notebook and pen, keep the textbook with you and underline all the salient points which I mention in this class. So, let us know about the climatic type of India. Dear students, the main factors which influence on the climate of India are location, water bodies, relief features and monsoon winds. These are the major factors which influence the climate of India. First of all location, where exactly the place is situated on the globe that also plays very, very important role whether the place is near the poles, whether the place is near the equator or whether the place is near the arctic zone. So, where exactly the place is situated that decides the climatic condition of that area. Likewise, relief features, relief features means the physical features on the surface of the earth, say for example, mountains, water bodies, the plain lands, even the coastal areas deltas, all these factors decide the climatic type of a place. The third one is monsoon winds, you know monsoon winds play a vital role in deciding the climate of a place, which type of winds are blowing towards that particular area that decides the climatic type, whether the place is influenced by southwest monsoon or northeast monsoon or temperate winds, all these factors decide the climatic condition of a place. Dear students, keeping these factors, India's climate is called tropical monsoon type of climate. That means, India has tropical monsoon type of climate. How do you say India has tropical monsoon type of climate? Because the major area of India is influenced by southwest monsoons. So, therefore, we say India has tropical monsoon climate. It is just because the greater part of India lies in the tropical area and is influenced by monsoon winds. What sort of monsoon wind? One is southwest monsoon wind, other one is northeast monsoon winds. Southwest monsoon winds and northeast monsoon winds influence the climate of India. It decides the amount of rain that we receive. Therefore, India's climate is called tropical monsoon climate. Hope you have very well understood. Shall we go to the next concept? So, this is the location of India on the world map. So, major portion of India, it comes in the tropical area and it is influenced by southwest monsoon winds and also northeast monsoon winds. Northeast monsoon winds and southwest monsoon winds influence the climate of this country. This climate of India can be classified into four seasons. They are Winter season is from December to February, summer season is from March to May, rainy season is from June to September, the retreating monsoon season is from almost mid of September to November. So, these are the four climatic seasons of our country. Now, we shall discuss winter season. Winter season starts in the month of December and ends in February. Dear students, in this season, there will be vertical rays of sun on the southern hemisphere and India is in the northern hemisphere receives oblique rays of sun. Due to the oblique rays of sun, the temperature goes down. During this season, temperature and humidity goes low and sky is very clear. You can see the blue sky. January is the coldest month. Okay? In this nation, Dras near Corgill has recorded lowest temperature that is minus 40 degree Celsius. On the hilly areas of Kashmir and Himachal Pradesh, 
you will have the record lowest temperature. Among these places, Dross near Cargill experiences lowest temperature in entire nation that is minus 40 degree Celsius. Dross near Cargill in Jammu and Kashmir has the recorded lowest temperature that is minus 40 degree Celsius. In this winter season, dew and fox are common in the hilly areas as well as over the plains. There is heavy snowfall on the higher altitudes and India gets only 2 percent of annual rainfall. Dear students, India receives 2 percent of annual rainfall in this season. So, this is what about winter season. Now, we shall discuss the second season of the year that is summer season. Summer season begins in the month of March and ends in the month of May. D dear students, now you have understood why do we have high temperature? Because you have already understood winter season. Similarly, during summer, India receives vertical rays of sun that means northern hemisphere receives vertical rays of sun, the southern hemisphere receives oblique rays of sun. Since we receive vertical rays of sun on the northern hemisphere, temperature goes high. Temperature will be high due to vertical rays of sun. At that time, India will experience hot, dry and sultry type of weather condition. Summer season has recorded highest temperature that is 49.4 degree Celsius at Ganganagar in Rajasthan. There is a place called Ganganagar in Rajasthan which has the recorded highest temperature that is 49.4 degree Celsius. During this season, India receives 10 percent of rainfall due to local heating and convectional current. So, some areas receives convectional rainfall and they are called by different names. Which are those names? Let us see them. First of all, on this, on this is the name given to convectional rainfall in Uttar Pradesh. Kala Baisaki, it is the name given to convectional rainfall in West Bengal. Likewise, mango showers, it is the name given to the convectional rainfall in Kerala that is in the month of April and May. Likewise, coffee blossom, it is the name given to convectional rainfall in Karnataka, right. In Kerala, it is called mango shower because it is beneficial to the cultivation of mango. Similarly, in Karnataka, the convectional rainfall is called coffee blossoms because it is beneficial to the growth of coffee crop. So, these are very, very important information in the examination point of view. Hope you are understanding all these concepts, dear students. Now, I look at the places on the map. Dear students, here you are seeing West Bengal, Kalabaisaki and here in Uttar Pradesh on this and this is Ganganagar in Rajasthan, the highest temperature in India 49.4 degree Celsius. Likewise, here in Karnataka, coffee blossoms and in Kerala, it is mango showers. This is what dear students, you will have to keep it in mind. Dear students, now we shall know about southwest monsoon season. As you very aware of, southwest monsoon season begins in the month of June and ends in the month of September. The rainy season is also known as the southwest monsoon season because southwest monsoon season is responsible for nearly 75 percent of rainfall which decides the climate of India. Therefore, rainy season is also called southwest monsoon season. During this season, that central part of India that is Madhya Pradesh and few other surrounding areas experiences high temperature with low pressure. At the same time, on the water body that is on the Indian Ocean, there will be low temperature with high pressure. So, the winds move from high pressure area to the low pressure area. These winds move from high pressure area to low pressure area and brings rain bearing clouds.
they are rain bearing clouds which we call southwest monsoon winds. During this time, the high pressure area is developed over the Bay of Bengal, hence the moisture laden winds blow from southwest towards India. The triangular shape of peninsular India divides southwest monsoon into two parts, one is Arabian Sea branch, other one is Bay of Bengal branch. These two branch of winds give us nearly 75 percent of annual rainfall. So, what are those branches? One is Arabian Sea branch, other one is Bay of Bengal branch. Dear students, you keep this in mind, very very important, Arabian Sea branch winds strikes the western guard and two areas are created. One is windward area that is to the western side of western guard and the leeward area that is eastern side of the western guard. So, the windward area and the leeward area receive rainfall, but they do difference in the amount of rain that they receive. The western side of western guard receives more than 500 centimeters of rainfall. For example, Agumbe and Hulikal of our Karnataka and many other places in the western side of western guard. To the eastern side of western guard that is leeward area, rainfall is very very less just 50 centimeters because the clouds are prevented by the continuous range of high western guards. So, the continuous and high range of western guards prevent southwest monsoon and only small amount of winds cross through and the deposition of clouds will be very very less over the leeward area. Therefore, rain is also less. Only 50 centimeters of rain is received by leeward area of the western guard. In addition to that, let us know about Bay of Bengal branch. The Bay of Bengal branch is prevented by the continuous range of Himalayas and they cause heavy rainfall to the major part of India. Overall, these two branches give us 75 percent of rainfall. Dear students, in this map you can very clearly understand what is windward area, what is leeward area. Windward area receives up to 500 centimeters of rainfall. Leeward area receives 50 centimeters of rainfall. Leeward area is called rain shadow area also. The Arabian Sea branch, it strikes the western ghat and causes heavy rainfall to the western side of western ghat and the rainfall decreases towards the eastern slopes of the western ghat. This is called rain shadow area. The southwest monsoon winds cause heavy rainfall, nearly 75 percent of rain is received in this season. Meghalaya receives maximum rainfall. In Meghalaya, there is a place called Mausinram. Mausinram, it receives 1141 centimeters of rainfall. The heaviest rainfall occurs at Mausinram in Meghalaya, it receives 1141 centimeters of rainfall. So, in the activity before I begin this lesson, I had shown you the place Mausinram in Meghalaya. So, you had properly located. So, Mausinram in Meghalaya receives country's highest rainfall. Dear students, now we shall discuss the fourth season of the year that is retreating monsoon season. The word retreat means moving back, going back. The monsoons which had arrived due to low pressure, now due to high pressure start moving back that is called retreating monsoon season. In this season, 13 percent of annual rainfall we receive. Dear students, keep this in mind, in winter season we receive 2 percent of rainfall. In summer season, 10 percent of rainfall in entire India and in rainy season, 75 percent of rainfall and in the retreating monsoon season, we receive 13 percent of rainfall. That means, all put together 100 percent. So, this is what? So, retreating monsoon season is from mid-September to November. In this season, in early October, due to decrease of temperature, low pressure area is gradually replaced by high pressure. So, the high pressure area pushes the cloud away. So, that is the indication of retreating monsoon. 
a low pressure area is developed over the Bay of Bengal and as a result the southwest monsoon starts retreating, starts to retreat and it blows from north northeastern side. Southwest monsoon winds start to retreat and it starts blowing from northeast. Hence, this season is also known as northeast monsoon season. Dear students, that is what I am showing you over the map here. See, this is Bay of Bengal and in this Bay of Bengal, high temperature and there will be low pressure. Over the Bay of Bengal, there will be high temperature and low pressure. From the northeast winds, the winds move from northeastern side and it causes rainfall to the coastal area of West Bengal, Odisha, Vishakhapatnam, that is the coastal area of Andhra and Tamil Nadu, etc. So, India receives about 13 percent of rainfall during this season. Sometimes in this Bay of Bengal, due to low pressure, cyclonic winds rush towards low pressure area. Due to low pressure over Bay of Bengal, winds rush towards Bay of Bengal and it leads to cyclone. So, cyclone rainfall also happen during this season on the eastern coast and it damages the property of people and even affects the life of our fishermen and the people who are residing on the eastern coastal line. In this season, Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh, Odisha get good rainfall during the month of October, November. Retreating monsoon season, in this season, tropical cyclones frequently occur over Bay of Bengal and cause heavy damage to the life and property of people. On this map, I am showing you the area which are influenced by cyclone winds. This area is influenced by cyclone winds and these cyclones damage life and property of the people. Dear students, so far I have taught you the four different seasons. Now, I teach you the distribution of rainfall in India. In India, on an average 116 centimeters of rainfall we receive in a year. On the amount of rainfall the places receive, we have classified them into three zones. They are areas with low rainfall less than 50 centimeter, areas with medium rainfall 50 to 100 centimeter, areas with heavy rainfall that is 100 to 250 centimeter. These are the three rainfall zones on the base of the amount of rainfall we receive. In addition to this, now let us learn one by one the areas with low rainfall that is just 50 centimeters of rainfall. Here the places like the Thar Desert of India, Punjab, Haryana, Gujarat and north of Zaskar range in Himalaya receive low rainfall. Dear students, I am giving you an activity. You need to mark all these places on the map of India. Will you do it? I hope you do it all and it will help you a lot. Now, let us learn areas with medium rainfall. Areas with medium rainfall that is from 50 to 100 centimeter, areas like the northern Punjab to Cape Kanyakumari, to Cape of Kanyakumari, it receives medium rainfall. In addition to that, areas with heavy rainfall, 100 to 250 centimeters of rainfall, that is Western Ghat, Northern Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, West Bengal, Northeastern India, Mausin Ram and Western Ghat, all these areas receive heavy rainfall, it receives more than 250 centimeters. So, these are the three areas of rainfall zones in India. Dear students, this is the time to recapitulate whatever we have learnt so far. In this lesson, you learnt about climatic type of India, that is the southwest monsoons influence Indian climate, this you have learnt. Secondly, the factors which affect the climate, that is water bodies, location, monsoon winds, relief features, all these influence the climate of India, that also you have learnt here. Then four climatic seasons, they are 
winter, summer, southwest monsoon season and retreating monsoon also we learnt, we discussed and the amount of rainfall they receive, the reasons for it, all those we discussed in this chapter. In addition to that, you learnt about the distribution of rainfall in India with example of places, all these we have discussed. I hope you have very well understood this lesson. Now, I give you an assignment. Will you do it, dear students? I hope you have very well understood this lesson. Now, the assignment is draw two outline maps of India and you need to show there the southwest monsoon and northeast monsoons. So, you need to draw two outline maps and you need to show the two different monsoon winds over each. Will you do it? I hope you understand this. Now, I am giving you homework and this homework exercise is given in your textbook as well, page number 107. So, fill in the blanks with suitable answer. India has dash type of climate. In India, dash receives the highest rainfall. In India, dash has the recorded lowest temperature and the coldest month of India is, all these are fill in the blanks, you will have to write in your notebook and show it to your teacher when the school reopens. Okay, dear students, now I give you some more question answers. Which factors influence the climate of India? Which are the important seasons of India? Explain the process of southwest monsoon. Explain the weather condition in the summer season and also you need to identify the areas with low rainfall in India on the map. So, you need to locate all these. So, if you do all this, definitely you can score very good marks in this lesson and you will understand this lesson thoroughly. Dear students, I hope you have very well understood this lesson. I am Srinivas Prasad, teacher in social science. I am teaching in St. Joseph Indian High School, Bengaluru. I wish you all the best. Thank you.